Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. Check this out. We Knife is celebrating their 10 year anniversary. That is very, very cool. And I'm excited to share this knife with all of you. Yeah, we could share it. Each one of us can have it one day at a time for the rest of our life. That would be very nice, wouldn't it? Um, and all, all the time when I get a Wee Knife, I always have trouble getting it out of the box. <laughs> Here we go again. I've done that before. Let's see if I can get this out of here. I hope you're having a fantastic day and check. Oh yeah, this is one of the ones I want to check out too. So here's a couple cool stickers and then you get, uh, you know, all the other accoutrement, nice microfiber cloth with Wee Knives. Wee Knives are high quality knives. They're well made in case you've never got a Wee Knife. I got to tell you, whenever I'm, whenever I'm getting into one like this, I'm always excited about it because they're always good. They're always good quality. They always have good fit and fit finish. It comes with a very nice pouch that you can put two knives in. And I'm excited about this version because I've seen pictures of it. I've never held one, but I've seen pictures and I know that the blade on this one is going to make me a very, very happy man. Oh yeah. Check it out. This is the Wee Banter Warncliffe. Would you look at it? Just look at it and all of it's Ben Peterson-ness. And in case you didn't know, Ben Peterson is the designer of this bad boy. Now we can't see the Warren Cliff just yet, but I wanted, I always have to take a quick look around the knife because once the blade comes out, I start forgetting all the little details that we all look for. This does have a captive pivot and this is purple canvas. I don't know that it's what kind of canvas it is, but it's purple micarta. It does have a nice feel to it. It does have a nice texture. I don't know if I can get you a little bit of texture vision. It's not completely slick. You can feel it. That is the feel that I like. And look at this. We have a deep carry reversible clip and it's inset into those micarta liners. So there's nothing to get snagged on your pocket, easy in and out of the pocket. Nice, perfect amount of tension and spring on that pocket clip. Oh yeah, I am digging this. Are you ready? There it is right there. Oh my goodness. Check that out. Look at that blade. That is gorgeous. This is going to be a perfect, perfect everyday carry knife. And by the way, here is the original banter. This is the Wee Banter. Now you have this option and you, for more, for everyday carry use and most of the things that people do, this is the kind of blade style that folks that when they first get one, they're like, oh my gosh, I had no idea that I would like a Warncliffe so much better than a drop point. Now I like drop points. I like, I like Warncliffe. I'm a knife collector. I'm a knife enthusiast. So I like them all. I find a use for them all, but I got to tell you, I really do like my utility style blades like this because these they're easy for opening packages. That's what a lot of us are doing with an every everyday carry knife like this is we're opening packages and look how it fits in the hand. Oh my goodness, it just feels so good. And this steel is CPM S35VN blade steel, baby, and it has a beautiful stone wash on it. They have, they also have a black burlap micarta version on this. I can't remember if the black one has the black stone wash or if it has this stone wash, but I'll have links in the description and in the comment section where you can go and check out the different variants. And for size comparison, here is the baby banner. Here's the baby banner Warncliffe, and then here is the big banter. So if you want a big one, and then one to go with it, one to one to accompany it, accompany, accompany it, <laughs> one to hang out with it, one to have in your second second pocket or even pocket dropped. This, oh my goodness gracious, this is uh, this is pretty cool. So the ergonomics are good on it. I can feel the pocket clip, but just barely, just slightly. We'll get a little more light in there. There you go. So here is your jipping. Now, if, if I had my, my, uh, my wishes, this excellent jipping right here, I'm not sure why there's just this much. I would have preferred that jipping come out a little bit farther. I mean, it works if you hold your knife way back here, but I kind of, let, I do this number. It's still, well, you know what? It's still grabbing my finger just fine. I'm not having an issue. It's, it is doing its job. I just, I'm, I'm, you know me, I'm, I'm a, uh, I'm not going to say that word. <laughs> I'm a sucker for good jimping. They do such a good job on their jimping. I, I'm always just looking forward to it because it's always done so well. And here you see, we have plenty of room for sharpening. I like this. Check this out right here. The plunge grind, they made it straight. It's going straight down. I wish more knife companies would, would adopt that and start doing that. Rather than have the plunge grind gradually just come down and end up at the heel, this right here is a style that I can appreciate where they drop it right there. They drop it like it's hot, and that is very, very nice. So let's see. 
How is the action on this? So you can see I'm giving it a little bit of help. It's not drop shutty, but you have all of that stone wash going on, which is slowing down the action. Now, if I give it just a little bit, let's see, if I get used to this knife and I'm carrying it, I know that I'm gonna give it just a little bit of umph to get it back down into the handle, get it back down on its home where it goes. And can I reverse flick this? Let's see. Oh yes, yeah. so there is, and you can hardly see because of the contrast of this gray is almost like the same as my background, but you can see that, right, look here, watch this. Look how easy you can reverse flick this knife. That is, a, that is a major plus. So if you like to reverse flick your knife when you get it out to cut something, you're gonna enjoy this. Um, I think if you have large hands, this might become an issue for you, it depends. Now when I'm holding it back in this fashion like this, I can feel that pocket clip. It's kind of a warm spot when I'm holding it back here like this, but I don't think this is a knife that someone's going to be hard using. It is a liner lock, it has good lockup, and is it centered? Yes, it is centered. And look at that, very good blade to handle ratio. I can appreciate appreciate that. This is a good looking knife. And I'm gonna put it down here next to this one. Is Are there any differences? Let's see. It looks like our handles are pretty much exactly the same. Although, wait a minute, hold on. I think I just found a difference right now. Okay, so in this original banter, these scales are flat. The scales on this one are contoured. They go like this. They're, they're contoured. Ooh, okay. I like it. You know what? I don't know which one I like better, but I definitely can tell. If you look at this one, the green one, they go flat down, whereas the, the purple, it's bowed out in the middle. So that that's just going to be a matter of preference, whether you like contoured scales or not. But I think this is, this is a good one. I like it. It's six and a half inches long. It's 6.5 inches long from tip to tip or 164 millimeters. Your blade is 2.9 inches, which is 73 millimeters and closed this whole knife. The whole knife is only 3.6 inches long or 92 millimeters. And the listed weight of this bad boy is 2.7 ounces. And that sounds about right to me. 77 grams sounds good to me because it is not a heavy knife. And if I didn't say it before, it has a captive pivot with ceramic ball bearings, reversible clip, S35VN blade steel, what is there to complain about? I mean, there's the, it's, it's a flawless, another perfect example of a Wii knife. Wow, it, it's great, it's, I love it. <laughs> I mean, if you're wondering whether this is worth the money, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's not gonna be a cheap knife because of the materials you get, but I bet it's not gonna be super expensive because it's S35VN, so it doesn't have the highest, you know, it's not like S90V or anything, and you have micarta, so I bet this is going to be one of the more affordable Wii knives, and I. I'm digging it. This is going to be such a great utility knife for getting into packages and cutting. Yeah, I, I like it. I really do. So let me know what you think about it. Do you have a wee knife? Do you have a banter? Maybe you have the regular banter like that. This one's a little more photogenic just because of the, the blacked out blade. This is a great knife. This is a great addition to the whole thing. And I wonder if you can swap the blades. <laughs> that might be something we could try in the live stream. So if you haven't hung out at the live stream or if you've never been to Bee's Blades live at the Hive, oh right, you don't wanna miss it every Friday night from 8.15 to around midnight. Eastern time, we have a lot of fun. We talk about knives, we talk about everyday carry gear. We have a lot of fun, it's laid back. We don't talk about politics or religion or anything. It's a safe spot to come and just chill. And if you don't know anything about knives or if you're a knife expert, we have the whole gambit come and hang out with us. People come and go, they do pizza checks, they do snack checks, we talk about knives and we have a lot of fun. And I give knives like this away, you never know what you're gonna win. And that's just a fun extra part of the hive stream. So let me know what you think about the new Wii banter warn cliff and then go watch this video you're really going to enjoy that and until i see you again in the live stream or the chats or right after you hit the thumbs up for this video remember live life in the present keep a band-aid handy and don't cut yourself